thanks, Scott, for having, having me here. I run a company called Media Six Degrees, and uh, I'm going to give you yet another piece of jargon. You've heard about socialnomics. I'm going to introduce you to sociographics um, and talk about what we think is the evolution of advertising. So um, excuse the awkward syntax here, but we think we're pioneering something here which is really a quantum leap in the way advertising is done. And in fact, expect immediate results on this. What we're doing is taking the old model and turning it on its head. The old model for targeting your audience is to use demographics, psychographics, to advertise against context. And given the advent of the social web, there's a new, there are new possibilities. And the new possibility is that a better way to target your customer or your prospective customer is to go to your existing customers and find their friends. And in fact, if you do that, you'll outperform any of the conventional ways of targeting customers. <coughs> so it's connections on the web that define an audience rather than a predetermined set of parameters about the characteristics or even the behaviors of your prospects. Um, so the way we think about this is, is based on some research. It was actually done just four years ago, but it was based on some old AT&T data. It was done right here at Stern. And it was based on looking at at t uh, marketing data, uh, specifically for at t services like call waiting and, uh, and uh, user ID and caller ID, and looking at what the best way to predict new customers would be. And they looked, at t had all kinds of rich data, uh, demographic, specific demographic data, inferred demographic data, geographic data, uh, spending data, and overwhelmingly the best way to predict new customers of these services was based on taking who uses the service now and who do they call and are called by most recently and frequently. So who are their friends? So it's connections between existing customers and anyone else out there that define your best prospective audience and by a ratio of five to one over the next best performing model. Again, this was research published in 2006. So what we've done is then take the social web and adapt that model to the social web using all the data that's out there that connects people on the web. And uh, we do it specifically by looking at long tail content, mostly UGC, mostly user generated content. So, so it's connections that people make through their personal pages, through user-generated content like photo sharing and, uh, and video sharing, through amateur blogs, very infrequently visited web pages is our method for finding connections that are predictive of shared brand affinity. That makes sense? So the, 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 more, the, more, the more rarely visited that piece of content is, that two people went to, the stronger the connection between those two people. So we run a whole array of algorithms. By the way, the, my, my, uh, my undergraduate major was always kind of embarrassing when I was trying to be a, a publisher in the 80s. Um, it's come back and it's an asset. 35 years later, it's finally an asset. Um, applied math gets mentioned in introductions. Didn't used to. Um, but we, we run a whole array of, of algorithms against that connective tissue against, against looking at connections of people in the, in the uh, social web to find those shared brand affinities. So what do we define as social graphics? This term actually has been used by a few people over the course of the last 18 months. It's been kind of squishily defined. We'll see if our version of it gets some traction, but I think it makes sense. We're defining sociographics as a science of creating targeting models. It's, it's in, in the line of demographics, psychographics. Sociographics is defining targeting models based on connections between people, again, a little syntax issue here, connections between people and connections between people and brands. Again, demographics, we don't care. Psychographics, we don't care. Context, we don't care. We're just looking at connections. We're not looking at specific behaviors. We're not trying to categorize behaviors. We're not even trying to track what that content is because most of the content that connects people that's meaningful is not categorizable. 
right? You went to someone's personal page, or you shared a photo. Does that define you as a customer of a certain cosmetics brand, or a certain retailer, or a certain airline? I don't think so. What defines you is how that, how that connects you to people who have, act, have already established those brand affinities. So again, a little picture for this as we see the evolution, and this is all about response. We're, we're talking about uh, driving action at a website that, that turns into conversion. That's where, uh, that's where our sweet spot is right now. And we're looking at an evolution from sort of Mad Men era to, to this uh, very data-centric era, context to demographics, psychographics, and now sociographics. And the two things we're looking for is how strong can we establish a brand affinity? And we measure that by ROI. We measure that by are we finding people who are going to a website in some period of time and actually converting, actually doing what you as a marketer are looking for them to do, whatever that is. If it's financial services, it's applying for a credit card. If it's retail, it's probably buying something. And so we are very much focused on the industries and the marketers who are looking for that action, that digital action. So we're actually looking for results now. And that, that, that has us focus primarily on retail and travel, financial services and tech. My personal theory is that the other marketers, the more brand branding, uh, not transactional marketers, are going to follow in time but that'll come later. That's not, that's not where, where the action is now. So again, this transition, um, I tried to get a picture of this to plot it, but what, you're, what you should be picturing is, this is your old conventional demographic target, and we're saying a lot of your customers are not in your conventional demographic target. That may be where your densest uh, population of customers is, but your customers are wherever your customers are, and we'll find them because they tend to be connected to the people who've already established a brand, a brand loyalty. Just a few facts about where we are. The company is about two and a half years old. Uh, we started actually uh, implementing our science in uh, Q4 of 08, so we've had 15, 16 months to, to run. Um, we're currently working with uh, 82 brands in the last uh, 30 days, running about 125 campaigns. We've done about twice that over time. Um, they work. We're getting to a scale uh, which is starting to be meaningful for these marketers um, in terms of monthly spending. The great thing we get is a huge retention rate. It works. And it works, again, for these marketers that are looking for action on the web. They're finding they're getting that at a rate that far surpasses any of the old methods of targeting audiences. Um, my email address, tom at media six degrees, and uh, love to, uh, to get any questions in email or other means.